You can find conditional logic with other options. But let's keep them for now. An entire now. documentation video dedicated to that. We have a separate video for that. No. I don't leave the conditional logic unchecked this time. In this video, I'll rather explore every aspect of conditional logic and showcase real-time use cases with LearnFrames. So, let's see how conditional logic can ease up your life, shall we? I'll start with the most powerful use case of conditional logic with form input fields. With this free feature, you can easily create concise forms with the right questions and reach different audiences effectively every time. Here you see this job application form. I'm going to show you how to reach different candidate groups separately with just one single radio field. As you can tell, the answer for this particular query has to be either yes or no. And that's where I'm going to trigger the following questions based on their previous experience. So I want these three specific queries to appear when yes is selected in the radio field. To set this up, I just need to go into the advanced options for each query and enable the conditional logic feature one by one. The next option lets you choose whether your action should match just one condition or all of them. Since the queries will show up based on a radio field, I'll set it to any. Next, set the conditions. But guess what? We can make this form even more specific based on their years of experience. Let's set one query for those with two years or less of experience and another for those with three years or even more. Now, set conditions in the same way for job seekers with no experience. And this time, we're only going to ask about their special qualities or skills related to the particular job. Okay, let's see how things work. Quite a simple form at first, but the more you get inside, the more interesting it gets. It's time to take your firm to new heights with Fluent Forms, where every user review, no matter if it's positive or negative, turns into an opportunity for action every time. Let's take a look at this airline survey form I have built for this video. The goal is to address reviews effectively regardless of their nature. First, select the field that you want to trigger based on positive feedback. Next, set the conditions with the include option. Choose some common keywords and you are good to go. Remember, negative reviews are inevitable, but you can manage them effectively using the same strategies and tools in place. But why stop there when you can go far beyond by unlocking the additional conditional logic options in Fluent Forms Pro? For instance, conditional confirmation messages that you can set according to the nature of the data submitted by the users. Okay, so let's compose a confirmation message for those who had a good experience with the service. Head to settings and integrations of the same form and then select conditional confirmation. Click on the add confirmation button on the right. Next, adjust or customize the confirmation message along with the other necessary options. In the conditional logic option, first select any or all and then map the input field that you want to be triggered. Set the conditions to include the possible keywords and here you go. But always remember to save the settings before you proceed. Similarly, compose a message for those who unfortunately did not like the service. I know you are wondering about the users who failed to comply with the conditional logic. No worries, the default confirmation message will always be there to save your day. Once done, take a preview to ensure the messages are appropriately delivered. Here comes the following query. Submit it and there you receive the conditional confirmation message. Smart and slick, as I said. Email notifications are one of the most convenient ways to stay connected into this fast-paced digital world. However, you may not want to receive notifications for every form submission. Let's be honest, that will be pretty annoying. With conditional logic, you can customize exactly when and how you receive notifications, so you only get updates that are relevant to you. I'll use this birthday party invitation form to track guest attendance. And I want to be notified only when there is at least one additional guest confirmed. 
Let's set this up under settings and integrations in email notifications. In the conditional logic checkbox, map it to the numeric field asking about guests. Set the condition to greater than or equal and the value to 1 and done. Okay, let's see how things work. Now you can make the arrangements accordingly. Now, what if you can fine-tune the arrangements even further by delegating specific tasks to team members? Yes, you can do so using conditional routing from the same email notification page. You will find this awesome feature at the top of the page. Select it first, then set up the email addresses to assign specific tasks to corresponding input fields. So make the secret weapon a must-try for efficient task delegation and unparalleled event management. You can even use conditions inside form confirmation or email notifications by using FluentForm's conditional shortcodes. Use the shortcodes to show a text message based on the user submitted data. Don't worry, the link to the shortcodes is already given in the description. Check it out at your convenience. For now, let's use the same birthday invitation form to see how the shortcodes work. Here, you can see this radio field. Now, in the confirmation message, I'm gonna set the condition as this. If the radio field equals yes, then this message. If no, then this message. Now save settings and see what we get if we opt for no for the invitation. Here you have it. But you might want to design a form that ensures the accuracy and integrity of the information provided by users, such as email addresses, phone numbers, and password strength. And I believe there is no better way to achieve this than by incorporating advanced form validation. First, from settings and integrations of FluentForms, enable advanced form validation. Then specify the conditions. Let's say you don't want the users to put some random letters in the name field while submitting the form. So pick the name field, specify the conditions as such less than to data length, and take two in the value. Next, choose a validation type, whether you want the submission to fail or accept it if the conditions are met. You can even compose an error message of your own. So let's save the settings and give this form validation a real-time try. Putting just random letters and… oh no, my form submission just got rejected. Cool. But hold on, I haven't yet talked about one of the most exciting use cases, conditional logic on integrations. With over 45 convenient integrations, including add-on, CRM, and automation tools, the potential is truly endless. Let's say you have a lead generation form with which you wish to automatically add the contacts with email addresses to your marketing CRM. Simply activate Fluent CRM in your integration modules. Next, navigate to the settings and integration section. From there, proceed to configure integrations and create the Fluent CRM feed. Then, enable the conditional logic and define the conditions that suit your needs. Alright, save the settings and yes, proceed to preview. Actually, I'm gonna fill out this form twice this time. First with the value that I set as the condition and then with some other value. Now it's time to verify which contacts Fluent CRM automatically adds to its designated email list. Here, see for yourself. Isn't this amazing? I'm sure by now you must have realized the boundless possibilities that Fluent Firms may offer with its conditional logic. But how can I end this video without mentioning conversational forms and post forms? Don't worry, I'm not gonna start over again because conditional logic works for them pretty much the same way. Now, it's your time to apply some conditions to your form and tell us in the comment which ones are your favorite. Happy form building!